What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Clutch Cinema Talk. And today we are going to be talking about the greatest finale in TV show history. Netflix greatest show of all time, 13 Reasons Why. And if you believe every sentence I said, then you need to go see a doctor. So, season 4 for 13 Reasons Why came out about a week ago, I believe. Like last Friday, right? Yeah. The main people who we're going to watch are the people who have already seen 13 Reasons Why. Obviously, if you don't just watch random seasons in the middle, like, unless you're completely insane and need to be checked into an asylum, maybe you do that. I don't know. I don't know what you enjoy. You know, maybe you go, like, watching Grey's Anatomy in season 12 or whatever. I, hey, listen, whatever you do in your spare time is all up to you. But... 13 Reasons Why Season 4 is the last season of 13 Reasons Why. It has been... How long has it been going? I think three, three, four years? I remember watching my junior year of high school. So, guess my age. Haha. <laughs> so, general thoughts about it. And then I'll go into spoilers, which I have some stuff to talk about. Just like in my Season 3 review. If you have not seen my Season 3 review, you should go ahead and check that out. Alright? Okay, so... General thoughts about season four. It's entertaining, all right? Now, does entertaining mean good? Absolutely not. I mean, look at all the garbage that we watched today. But it's, it's that kind of entertaining where you yelling at the TV of the absolute insane decisions these characters make and utter chaos that is going on on TV. But you just feel the need to watch through it because it's entertaining. You want to know what happens next. You want to know how it ends. So uh, that's, that's basically what every most of these shows are like but this has been made like this mainly like 13 reasons why overall i wasn't expecting much out of this last season i um like season three it wasn't bad until the last episode and it's like it's like a bad taste in your mouth like you you just you just taste whatever you tasted last you don't even remember that what happened before and it just threw me off. So in this season, I I wasn't sure if I was rooting for these guys, if I, if I wanted to root for them. Because in my season three review, I said I hope that these characters face consequences for what they've been doing. And I believe that kind of going in. So I wasn't really rooting for them. I was just like, whatever's going to happen is going to happen, you know. But some of the elements in this finale season, I was, I was all around. That was pretty cool. It was, it was all right, I guess. It's uh, interesting use of horror elements through the first like two thirds of the season. It was different, and then this season completely went different when it, out of left field came a Terminator reference, which it completely threw me off guard. I I I completely thought the whole episode was gonna be in that style, but yeah, if you know if you know what we're talking about, that I was I was like what what oh whatever. All right, so let's get into spoilers. Spoilers, spoilers. I'll talk some pros. I'll talk some cons, what I liked, what I did not like. All right, so like I said before, I came into this season um, not sure if I wanted to root for these protagonists and if I was, you know, wanting them to end the fairy tale land all happy ending or whatever. If anyone faced consequences in this season, it was probably Clay. I mean, his mental health went through the basement. Like, it was so... <clears throat> like, he wasn't just losing his shit. Like, his shit was getting absolutely smoked by, like, a bat. Like, it was... His mental health was... Wow. It was wow. It was just... Like, wow. Like, Clay was just absolutely losing his mind. And the whole plot point about him losing memory... I thought that was, you know, kind of kind of lazy, I guess. That you could just throw in random stuff into the to the season and then just come out at the end being like, oh, it was Clay, but he just didn't remember or whatever. I guess that's what happens when you go crazy, you forget things. But, okay, let's talk about some pros, all right? The acting for this season, once again, was a... Oh, it was great. It was great acting in this in this season, just like in season three and all the other seasons. The finale finale, like the last episode, I wrote the the burial the burial of Hannah's tapes. I thought that was a great scene. Uh because it literally everything happened kind of stemmed from 
not just her suicide per se, not saying like everything happened because of that, but more of the events leading up to that and then that the uh the events of her suicide kind of rippled effect and you know it just things happened and it was just a burial of her tapes kind of show that these characters are moving on and they could go on to college you know in a better mind better space i guess i mean i can't imagine a suicide of you know someone that you were kind of responsible for could just go away after high school but whatever uh now do they become do these characters become better people like, like when i say characters the protagonist the people who were around that burial right uh no not not all of them maybe not even the majority of them became better people they have improved and there is going to be a lot of improvement in their fictional lives but not all of them i mean if Clay thought no one cared in high school, wait till he gets to college. He's wow. Okay, <laughs> Zach, like Zach, I don't understand what direction they went with his character, becoming this alcoholic kind of no caring. Like, I think they just had no idea what they wanted to do with him, and they just made him like that just as a background presence. I don't know, uh, Jessica. Mm, <laughs> I mean. <laughs> a big part I liked in this season was the usage of Monty and Bryce as Clay's sort of demons because it showed the constant battle. He was battling himself throughout this season and it was also throughout the series Clay was battling with himself when he thought he was going against, trying to save everybody and, and battle all these people and this and that and become the hero and everything when he, he really had to save himself from himself, which was interesting. And... I like that element of the season. Also gets the actors for Bryce and, and Monty more time. Okay, cons. Like every 13 reasons why season. You would think in their fourth season, their their like third year, second year together, that these group of people would trust each other in to some extent. They don't. They don't trust themselves whatsoever. And I, it's so like I'm, I was actually surprised that no one ratted each other out just from the sheer fear that someone else would rat them out. I mean, they were going around like, do you think he's going to do this? you think he's going to do that? This, that, this, that. I mean, it was messed up. I mean, like like Tyler, like you know how they were skeptical that Tyler might have said something and Tyler had that whole speech like, oh, you guys taught me trust in this and that. Like, he was right, you know? Uh, did Tyler have to tell them? No, that's that's part of trust. You You got to trust your friends. And... There was not a lot of trust going around. Not a lot of trust. It's also, this season was another season of Clay assuming something about someone and going completely paranoid. It's like a running theme, running gag in this. Uh, Clay, man, you, you gotta relax, my man. Like, he's gonna lose his sh in college, in life. Wow. So now I also have like a little bit of little stabs at the season that just kind of made me like what that i have written down the football playbook that uh what's her name monty's sister found gave to winston that's that felt so cheap it I, well, I forgot what information it gave that something that jessica wasn't there or something like that i felt that they, they were writing secrets in a playbook i mean what 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 who the hell who does that the patriots no like it, it was so weird it was just happening and it, it just felt like it was so random and they just needed a way to, exp to show to give winston some clues so it was just ugh. it was just ugh. what else i got here oh the v arrow the v thing with the arrow through i maybe they explained it i don't think i was paying attention but i have no idea who was writing that where it was coming from why it was in the cave like on like on the rock was that just the thing that clay was seeing in his head uh all right so the whole thing with clay at the in, in episode four at the camp it, it was so confusing i i like he got thrown in the ditch right but 
in some point, I, unless they showed the clips like out of order, at some point he leaves the cave. I mean, he leaves, he climbs out the cave and goes to the shed and, and locks them in and does the, the, the thing with the axe, right? Number one, why? Why did he do that? Why, why did he even scare them like that? Like, I get that it's one thing that he, he didn't remember to to spray paint the thing and, and knock out the cameras. I guess spray painting on, in the school was his guilt and then knocking out the cameras was just his anger. But this like, off his friends, was it was it to scare them into saying? Saying... Oh, also, what, did he lose his... Uh, I'm completely forgetting. Did he lose his memory to type out the email? Because it said it was from his account. It, it was like his guilt and his fear making that was taking over. And his anger when he was when he was uh not remembering. But I still don't understand why he did the whole axe thing. It was it was awkward. It was weird. The whole aura element of it was like the whole thing with that whole episode was weird and, and funky. It just felt so Riverdale. Uh, I don't know. It, 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 in my opinion, it didn't really fit. It, it didn't really fit. In my opinion, uh, another part of the season, <laughs> the whole the whole thing with where what was it? Clay and Justin, the whole like thing with the dummy. If you, you had to patch like a bullet hole and all the blood coming out, I was like, what the what? That was re. I was so like unnecessarily unnecessarily real. I want, do they do that in real schools? I, 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 I wonder. I wonder. I mean, how often are you going to be in the situation that you're going to have to stitch up a bullet hole enough to teach it in a class? That's scary. That's, that's a scary thought, actually. Uh, oh, a big thing. I, I, it was the episode with the, 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 the party and Clay drive driving zach's car listen he got into a like doctor strange type accident like the car like it hit and it flipped over and like down a hill like it was like it was like a hill there next episode you the first thing you see i think was zach would just uh, uh, i completely forgot now i think it was like a broken arm and clay was walking all merrily daily like nothing ever happened they were in a convertible that went like 720 over the freaking cliff and he walked out with no scratches like no no concussion no head trauma no no like no cuts nothing not even a broken leg then if you're going to do that, then don't even put that whole crash sequence. Don't even, you don't even need to put, I get you're trying to like put in that, that clay. He was drunk and he was like not caring about anything. And, and he was like all messed up in the head, just stepping on the gas and like not giving a care in the world. But then you're going to come into the next episode and show no, no repercussions for the accident. Like That's what I'm saying with this whole season. Like there's no consequences. Things are just happening. Just for like, oh, they're going to do a car accident. Oh. And he doesn't even have a broken leg or nothing. I don't know. A, a little uh, <laughs> little thing in episode six when Clay is hiding under the table talking to Monty. Uh, Monty on his left, Bryce on his right. When Clay gets up. It was funny because I caught this on the first go. He bumps Monty on the leg. And I get, it's supposed to be like he's a vision. And it, it messed me up in the head. I was like, wow, they really let that slide. But that's just a little thing. Who cares about that? All right, the whole drill of season six. That was absolutely ridiculous, okay? Ridiculous. I, I thought that it was going to be a random kid that, no, that nobody really knew Doing the sh school shooting. And that would have shown. That Clay couldn't save everybody. And. That the whole thing. It, the, the whole thing is bigger than this group of, of, of friends. That it's bigger than that. There's That there's a lot of people going through things. And we have to. You know. Trying to help everybody. But. It, 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 that it was just someone else. You know. 
And it turned out to be the drill, which played into the whole secret security plot point. And it was just all over the place. I'll get to that in like two seconds. It, it was the whole drill. I don't know in whose mind would that make anybody safer. Because that is not a controlled experiment. It is not a controlled experiment. Whereas a drill, is, you, people know it's a drill. But simulating a real event that can cause fear and, and trauma and unpredictable actions from the students is not controlled and absolutely idiotic of how could that be, how that could be even allowed. All right. So that 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 that, that lets me go into the whole security underground security nonsense with the, the, the parents and the, the faculty. Okay. All right. First of all, I think I think the parents knew about the whole um, shooting drill. I, I think I think there was a line that that said that they knew about it. So if they did know about it, I would like to know why the parents would think that simulating a school shooting would be a great idea to keep your own kids protected. There's no way. There's no way. But we're saying that if they did know, there's no way they would have let, let guy gone through with that. I mean, why? Why? Like it's it's just it's just so mind-boggling. And just, I don't, first of all, do you, do you like hire like, like officers or, or whatever, like to do this simulated event? I mean, if you're going to ask someone to do this, they have to be okay with it too. It was just, it was just completely nuts, completely crazy. I don't know why, how, what, wow. And then the whole secret security thing. How did one kid not know that their parent was in a secret security ring? Not one kid asked, where are you going tonight? And they just accidentally slip it out. Not one parent even told their kid that we are working with the school faculty and we are helping them make the school a better place. We're putting in cameras and this and that. Not one parent, not one parent said that to their kid. BS. BS, okay? That's one of the main, that whole school thing. Uh, <laughs> what? The whole thing with the the kids and the riot police. Who the hell called the riot police on high schoolers? That whole episode was just so mind-boggling and it just went away. That Zach got no penalty for destroying school property. Clay got no penalty for blowing up the, 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 the principal's car. I... I don't know. 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 Uh, and uh, last couple of things that are just little nitpicks. Like at the prom, <laughs> there's nobody wearing the color blue. At my prom, there's a lot of people wearing color blue. I wore blue. But in this prom, there was like red and like black. I think those were like the main two. But there was no blue. No other colors. Not, you know. That was just one thing. <laughs> also... Justin and Jessica's relationship. I'm not gonna get into it because I stopped caring about it a long time ago, and I, 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 I'm insulted that this season expects me to believe that the whole senior class cared about their relationship too, making it this whole like Romeo coming back to Juliet thing at the end. Like they all make this huge line, like "Yo, dude, I'm trying to party. I don't care about these two fools. They, I don't care about these two fools. I'm just trying to party right now." It was just, I don't know. It was, I don't know. That's all I can say about most of these things. I don't know. Uh, last thing I'd like to say, Heidi, the actress, Veronica St. Clair. She is an angel. I am in love. I am confessing my love. If in the rare, rare, rare circumstance that she finds this video by accidentally clicking on... 57 random videos and recommendations on YouTube that this stumbles upon and she magically watched 20 minutes of this review. I love you. You are beautiful. You are gorgeous. 
My Instagram is KC underscore clutch. Subscribe, follow. You're just an angel. And that's all I got to say about that. I'm just putting it out there because you never know in a parallel universe. Ah, la, la. Anyway, season four, in conclusion, uh, it's over. It's over, right? And it's not a bad series overall. It is entertaining. They do have elements that they touch upon that are, like they say, um, not in the average common day discussion. And they touch upon them and they are trying to raise awareness on these certain topics. I don't agree that they touch upon them in the right way, but they do touch upon them. 13 Reasons Why, overall, it's not a bad series. Is it entertaining? And if I guess you got nothing else to do, go ahead and watch it. And if you're like me who have been on this humongous ride since 2000 and whenever it started, it is over. There are no more reasons why. It was like 52 reasons why high schoolers are assholes. That's, that's, that's what should be the new name of the show. So 13 reasons why. Like I said. Did you like this last season? Do you like the series as a whole? Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Which was your favorite season? And who's your favorite character? I'd like to know that. For those of you, for the five of you, I hope it's five of you still watching this right now. So, all right. I will catch you guys in the next video. So, until then, deuces. Yeah.